Hey there. I'm D. Let's play cards. All right, y'all. Aquarius, check me out. I will not solicit you for reading ever and ever. I do charge for them, but you can contact me, uh, Tara with D43 at gmail.com. So I also am on YouTube. You can check me out over there too. The old readings that don't make it over here are over there, which is only usually uh, Libra. Pisces, Gemini. That's uh, because I'm a Libra and they're longer and I, I do them longer because up there for me. Uh, Taurus. Taurus, Gemini, and Pisces. So let's see. Oh, shit. Cancer, Leo, Virgo, and Libra at the bottom of the deck. So signs may have something to do with nothing, right? Uh, take it as it resonates. Let's see what we got going on for uh, Aquarius. You could flip-flop the story. I might say you, and it could be they. It's uh, all different energies. I'm just pulling them in, stringing them together, trying to make the things make sense here. Uh, this is a change in the wind. That is also a change. Those are two changes, two major changes as well. I'll take that one. Phew. Uh, ooh, oh, no. Jeez. Hmm. Sorry, that's a broken heart. It is dark energies. It could be just the healing of the dark energies. The, the plan is, is to get near the people that you can work with, that, that you can heal those heart problems with, because that's your heart chakra, Gabrielle. Pink and green stones will do that. Um, so this is friendship, caring connections. It's a possible love or possible partnership. There's two horses right here. This is energized effort. And this is a zebra. The zebra is in the horse family. Um, phew. So you can look up the zebras and the horses because I don't have enough time to explain what the animals are. But there's going to be a message in, in what the animals are too. And I don't know if there's a difference between the black and the white horses. But you might go check that out too. So a change in the wind. Be, be prepared for some shifts. Tell, tell us why the Hierophant said because there's going to be a leveling up. Nine of Wands, you've been blocking or somebody's been blocking you here. You have a lot of learning to do, a lot of get, there's some catching up to do. Maybe you haven't wanted to do the, the thing here, but now all of a sudden your vision is changing. You're like, oh, fuck, let, let, let me just magician in the Wheel of Fortune snap out of it. Six of coins, I got to start giving back. Or you have found something that gives back to you justice in a way that makes you feel the star, justice in the star, like nothing could stop you. Like all your dreams are coming true. Oh, wowee. The emperor, you're leveling up, taking control of, of your life, your way. What's this right here? You're a warrior. Uh, this is a battlefield. Love is a battlefield, maybe. Uh, I've been getting a lot of songs lately, but I'm not a good singer, so I'm, I'm not going to be singing them. Action, right? Energized effort. Eight of swords to release yourself from a, a mentally imposed jail, from some sort of purgatory in which you have been sent to via maybe some water sign or water signs. They may be difficult for you, and you have may have some difficult relationships with the water here. Uh, see, the king of cups and the queen of cups was just in here. Somebody that you're separated from, have been separated from that you have gained your independence from with the moon. The moon is water also, that's Pisces. You have a lot of things inside here. You have a lot of gnosis and a lot of power and it's been blocked for a long time. Four cups because you, you've you been drinking the Kool-Aid, I guess, from the water. You've been drinking the water. Uh, so be careful with your foods and stuff or what you're eating outside your own home judgment. Uh, reconciliation, I think, with yourself about these people, places, and things. The only thing you can do is move forward. Eight of Wands, you have some place that you want to be, and you're like, fuck, if I don't get to that sun right now here and have this rebirth, I just don't know what I'll do. So something's up with Leo, too. You could be waiting for a Leo to come towards you. You're going to go towards a Leo. What's this caring connection, please? It's the Knight of Swords. It's a conversation. It's some swift... I don't know if somebody's going to come flying in needing to talk about some shit to you, like, real fast. Six of Wands, and you're just like, what? Just look, it's the black and white horse. And maybe this is you coming up, because this is an Aquarius card, uh, coming up to the Six of Wands and this person, this woman, who's on the white horse here, in which you're trying to catch up to right over here. But the Five of Swords, it's been hard. I think, you know, you, you, you're going to make it. Uh, but there's something bothering you because you're you're talking to this person here. Y'all are on the same wave level, but there's this other member of your 
let's say, tribe that you're missing. Also, there's a connection here that's for for you, Ace of Cups. It's forever, I feel like. Can I have another card? I never say that. Don't say shit like that. Five of Swords. This is a love worth fighting for, Queen of Coins. I feel like there's Six of Cups. This is like past life soulmates. I don't know. Someone you are, you know, you, you like want to give your heart to, Page of Cups. This person makes you feel better, grounded. Four of Coins, grounded. Three of Wands, in the future, you're, um, you got all this planning going on about these partnerships here. Something you don't see about someone off to the side. And if they're not going to tell me specifically who they are, I feel like that's why I got this card. Because they want you to figure something out or to let something go or something like that. Give me a couple cards, please. Don't accept an apology from someone that just sucker punched you and sometimes you're wrong. Uh, problems, lessons, uh, and acceptance. So, you know... You are my witness, declares the Lord, and my servant whom I have chosen. 42 could be a big year, a big number for someone. Isaiah 43, 10, 43, I love that number. Anywho, you're a warrior energy. That's what I said. You're leveling up to your, to your power. And I think maybe you have to leave some of them caring connections behind. How do we solve a problem like Maria? You don't. You embrace the shits, okay? And that's that's a fact because Maria helps all the, all the things. Uh, listen to learn not to respond. Shut your mouth and open your ears. Shape up or ship out. You can't make the people fucking see anything. All you can do is get yourself in line. It is definitely time to go or somebody's, you know, heading towards you thinking it's time to go. And, I, you know, I don't know who's doing the heading. Uh, who, who's spying? Don't study me. You won't graduate. Somebody's doing a lot of studying. And this isn't a thing that you can graduate. The, the self-care, love stuff. Like, this ego, there's a changing, a death of this ego, a leveling up to a climax, fulfillment. Divine Masculine, Happy, Warm, Daytime. Something up with the daytime. Communication during the day here from someone outside your home or something like that. Some opportunity coming in from someplace else. About I don't know, it could be an option to move or I don't know. There's a big, big thing. This meeting, you have to have a meeting and communicate some shits to some people here. Ooh, that's a lot of fucking Leo. Leo's been still out all over the place. It just it just won't settle down. I don't think it can. It's been ramped up since August. So the line is about authority, pride, and ego. Again, so you know what? Heart setting. You got to deal with the hard things. There's a lot of stuff going on. You're making a lot of changes. A lot of changes. Death is a huge death. Oh, fuck that. And the water signs. That's death twice. And then here's justice in the Libra. I don't know. It's only right. You, you don't dole out the karma. But I'm pretty sure that people are going to get, you know, their own shits. Just worry about you. What's this action? A stork traveling, changing, moving. There may be some sort of pregnancy, renovating, arriving, departing, departing. Somebody is restless. Needing a change here. Maybe about the resources and finances. Something like that. Sorry, I thought I heard the door opening. I was going to have to shut that door. Then I could hit pause. Like, this isn't my right. Anywho, new things on the horizon. I feel like this is the anchor. There's nothing holding you back. The only thing holding you back is, is you at this point. So, uh... There's some networking and communication, definitely some sort of meeting or putting something out here. The road is about free will, also about independence, traveling and a road trip, something up with all, all, all the moving. What's this last one down here? The Empress. Somebody's, is, that's unconditional love. It is everything that you want love to be. Beauty, charm. Who it may be like, uh, uh, it's the unconditional love. It's a big motherly love to a stalemate. Somebody's just not going to let them steal their peace anymore, refusing any, to take anything less than, and maybe you found your empress, which is a problem for someone. It makes you excited here to hit the jackpot and get the lucky things and be able to move on. But there's something up with the child or the children in the Wheel of Fortune here. Skies wanting to cut someone out. Something happens sudden and unexpected here. Maybe somebody's going to come in ripping off the Band-Aid. To, to, I don't know, have a conversation about something, but it's up to someone, one person in particular, to come forward and clean the slate uh, having to do with the children or someone just being motherfucking childish about other people's lives and decisions. World War Three is 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 coming. Societal upheaval. These, a lot of these came out in the readings I already did today. One was the one on YouTube, the long one that I already did, which tends to be more like a collective reading, but I, I title it Libra because it's easier for me. Um... Love, love, love and hate. There's a fine line between the two. Mutually assured destruction. Hurt people, hurt people. Something about, about the phone calls again. You should expect one. Somebody needs help with the mentoring. Somebody's about something schooling too. And children and divorce. 
and infatuation and 